What's up? How are you guys today? I just woke up and I'm going to show you a few things that I do in the morning to feel good, stay healthy that you might not be currently doing. So uh, <laughs> we just crawled out of our metal tent protecting us from the Wi-Fi EMF radiation. And the first thing I do in the morning is hydrate with a lot of high quality glass bottled mineral water because you know when you're sleeping, whether it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours, your body's going to become dehydrated. You know, I always wake up with like dry mouth, dry eyes, maybe even a mild headache. And as soon as I drink a lot of water, I immediately feel better. Yeah, I mean, I try to hydrate when I get up to use the bathroom, but then you kind of have to use the bathroom again because you drank all the water. And this can kind of depend on the humidity and the heat in your room. Uh, I keep thinking of getting a humidifier to see if that'll help out at all, but I keep the window open so I'm not 100% sure, but basically I just drink as much as possible in the morning that I can stomach, which is half a liter, aka two cups. And this is really important because you're not only hydrating your body and your cells, you're kind of stimulating and finishing off digestion because the food will halt in your stomach if it does not have enough water. You know, the body is going to keep it there and try to absorb as much water from the food as possible. However, if you just drink water itself, you know, things will start moving and clearing out. Now, I have so many videos on water, guys, explaining what you should be drinking. I use glass bottle mineral water. If you can't really afford that, you're going to have to find a local well and fill things up and, you know, obviously get the source tested. Uh, the filtration systems aren't that great, whether it's reverse osmosis or distillation or Berkey filter. Maybe those are passable for, like, cleaning yourself with that type of water, but actually drinking it wouldn't do it. Up next is our nasal flush, and we actually did a video on this a few months back. So if you want the full explanation and full in-depth video on it, uh, but I'm still doing that on a daily basis. And, you know, when you drink the water, you're hydrating your body. This can really help hydrate your nasal cavity, your sinuses, rinse out anything you were breathing from the air, whether it's pollutants or stuff they're spraying. So I really do feel a lot better. The difference is uh, the amount of iodine you use can kind of differ depending on your circumstances. So uh, we have the iodine available on organsupplements.com. Here I have a bottle of Fiuji mineral water. I put maybe one dropper of iodine, like a full dropper of iodine in this whole bottle of water. So you guys saw this last time, we basically just take the water and pour it down our nose. And you could do this a few times. You could really like keep the water back there, pour a lot, just like be careful with the amount of iodine you use because you don't want to overdo that and you definitely want to make sure you're taking selenium and then uh you know if you are doing this really really frequently even get your thyroid levels checked just to make sure that you're not overdoing the iodine <coughs> and usually when i blow my nose you know stuff comes out so nasal flush blow up my nose i feel things clear up i feel my ears clear out and i do feel a lot better so i'm going to take a shower and then we're going to do a few more things. So I just hopped out of the shower and I normally don't actually take a shower in the morning, but I felt a little dirty because I didn't yesterday. Uh, we're back in our Wi-Fi shielding clothing, which I actually wore to bed. Uh, so I'm basically wearing this clothing 24 seven. And we're just going to go outside, get some fresh air and do a little bit of grounding. Now this next step grounding is also known as earthing. We are in touch with the physical earth, which is giving us electrons, antioxidants, and you know, normally when you're inside, when you're wearing shoes, most of the time you are not grounded. So this is a pretty important thing to be doing uh, for at least five minutes. I mean, some people try to do it for an hour or two every morning. And you can combine this with uh, exercise, which is gonna be our next step. And we're also breathing in some fresh air, <gasps> which we uh, did a video on too. So if you guys want more information on the grounding or earthing, deeper explanation into it or like the fresh air which i think i titled the video like open a window or something just search my youtube channel for that stuff honestly i don't do this enough i'll do it for maybe a few minutes two or three times a day but i do feel better when i go outside when i get some fresh air when i do this so like you could sit on the ground 
uh, go barefoot, wear some earthing shoes, or we have the straps on Wi-Fi shielding, and do your exercise routine too. That's obviously better than just standing here and hugging the tree because you can kind of kill two birds with one stone, but it is a little cold outside and it's kind of raining. So what I'll try to do is just, you know, breathe some fresh air, ground for a few minutes, and then I'll go inside and I'll do a little bit of exercise just to keep things moving. Ideally, I would be hiking in the woods, which would kind of kill like 10 birds with one stone, you know, because um, you're walking around, you're getting some cardio, you're grounding, you're breathing in fresh air. Going for a hike would be the best thing, but you know, like I can't travel to a trail in the morning. I got stuff to do, so it's not ideal right now. Number four is exercise. And the main thing you wanna do is just move the body to kind of stimulate the lymph nodes, get all the fluids flowing. That's the most important thing. So just doing like jumping jacks or running for a few minutes or like, you know, 10, 15 minutes of walking, that would be perfectly fine. And then depending on any sort of physical issues you're having, you would also wanna do at least five or 10 minutes of those types of exercises. So maybe you have lower back pain, maybe you have neck pain, maybe you have poor posture. Uh, those are things that you should be working on every morning until you're feeling better physically. For me, uh, for some reason, ever since I got the liver damage from the carnivore diet, I started having like weird pain in certain parts. That could be from the candida overgrowth, that could be from a few different things, but I do a specific exercise that does help alleviate that, uh, which I actually saw on TikTok, but um, there's all different types of exercises you can look up and search online. Just type in like exercises for neck pain, exercises for back pain. So what I do for my rotator cuff and shoulders, which is predominantly on the left side, um, you basically put your hands up like this and you go back and forth for a few minutes. So this is kind of boring and depending on your shoulder motility and you know how flexible you are and how bad the pain is, you might not be able to do the exercise completely or correctly. So for me, even though this seems simple, it's actually a little difficult to do. So you're basically sitting down, trying to keep your shoulders like back and then just reaching up. You know, you could move your shoulders forward. It's a little bit easier, but what you're trying to do is basically mobilize the spine as much as possible back and forth and, and all that stuff. And then I'll also do and again, you guys can look up videos for this too. Um, you basically put your back against the wall. So kind of like this. And then when your head's against the wall, you're basically gonna pretend there's a piece of paper or you could actually take a piece of paper and that you're trying to move the piece of paper up. So you're like tucking your chin in and moving the paper up. So when you have a forward neck posture, obviously you know the muscles back here are stretched out and the muscles in the front are tight. So when you're, you're going back and like kind of stretching up, pretending you're pushing paper up, you're stretching the tight muscles and you're flexing the stretch muscles, which is what you want to do and what you need to do to correct it. And this kind of applies to any corrective exercise. You need to do the opposite of what you've been doing to fix it. And this is something else you also want to do for a few minutes and then and that's really it. You know, I don't get to do this every day. I try to as much as possible. It depends on how I sleep and how I feel. And, if there's anything I immediately need to do at work. But hopefully uh, this helps you guys improve your health and your lifestyle and kind of gets you going in the morning. Uh, this can kind of help wake you up and get you ready for the day, you know, and it doesn't involve any supplements or foods or, or anything for the most part, which we did in another morning routine. If you guys want to see what I actually do, like eating the beef testicles and supplements and all that type of stuff. So now I will either, you know, take supplements, eat breakfast or get on with the rest of my day. I kind of just want to show you guys some stuff that uh, you can be doing physically. So you guys can go to frankdashtofano.com if you'd like to support me through all of my businesses. But outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. I'll see you guys soon. You know what, guys? If we're being honest, the ideal morning routine is you wake up next to a Latina or Latino, you know, for you ladies, and you just spit all over each other for 30 minutes, basically. You get what I'm implying? You know, that would be the ideal physical morning routine. However, you might not have too much energy for the rest of the day.